Hey guys, let's take a look at some of the differences of two cubes. Let's recall, I don't know if you remember actually doing this long division problem where we did a cubed uh, uh, plus b, uh, a cubed plus b cubed divided by this, this, and that, and then a, a cubed minus b cubed, this, and this, and that. Um, you're gonna find, well, I won't bother to actually do this because it's, you know, it's simple enough for you to do, but when you uh, multiply a plus b in parentheses, then a squared minus a b, plus b squared, you're going to get a cubed plus b cubed. In other words, this times that, and then this times that. Everything else cancels out in, internally, all right? In this case, this, of course, is gonna start, that's how you start off. Everything else internally multi uh, cancels out except for the very end, which is negative b times positive b squared, which gives you this, all right? So in other words, these two things are the same, and these two things are the same if you multiply it out or divide it out or whatever, okay? So you just need to write this down. Go ahead and pause this, and you need to write down a, a cubed plus b cubed factors to this. A cubed minus b cubed factors to this. That's just, that just needs to be memorized, and you can refer back to it as much as you'd like to, in, in, in any, any way you want to. And remember that these always won't be as simple as just plain old A. I mean, you could have a lot of things cubed, like two cubed and seven cubed, and you could even have, you know, A to the fourth power cubed, which will give you A to the twelfth power. Or you could have a Z to the fifth power cubed, which will give you Z to the fifteenth power, and so on. Okay, so remember that. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of this. We're going to factor this minus this. And what you need to do is vi visualize this as something cubed minus something cubed, a cubed minus b, b cubed, okay? And what you will remember is if a cubed minus b cubed, that factors into a minus b, a squared plus a squared, uh, plus a b plus b squared, okay? And so this is what you're gonna use. So what you're going to do is, you're gonna look at this as if, as if a cubed is the same thing as this and p cubed is the same thing as this. So what you, if you want to do this, you can go, well, what does a equal? Well, a equals x times y, right? Because a cubed is the same thing as x cubed y cubed, and b is the same thing as p. So we're going to use this for a and that for b. So we can write this as a minus b, okay? Then we'll have a squared. Well, what's that squared? That's just going to be x squared times y squared, right? Plus a times b, okay? And this will be a, oh, excuse me, did that wrong. a times b, which is times p, plus b squared, which will give you p squared. And that's all you're looking at. All you need to do is just be able to, number one, memorize the factor, how that works. And number two, break these up until you can visualize an A and a B and then plop them right into the spots where they need to be. If you need to square something or times it by, times it by each other, you can do that. All right, let's try another one. This, <clears throat> you need to visualize, then we're gonna factor this out, okay? And look at this as an A cubed, that's A cubed. This part is B cubed. So that tells us the easier one would be B is just gonna be the same thing as X, right? Okay, now A, what would that be? It's going to be this whole thing cubed. Well, what cubed gives you 8? And the answer is 2. What cubed gives you m cubed? The answer is m. And what cubed gives you y to the 6th power? Well, what times itself 3 times gives you y to the 6th? And the answer is y squared. So that's going to be your a. This is going to be your b. So that's what you put this right into here. So let's do that together. Let's just give us some room here. So a is going to be 2my squared plus b. There's your b. All right, <clears throat> a squared will be this squared. So it's gonna be two my squared times two my squared. Well, two times two will be four. M times m will be m squared. And y squared times y squared will be y to the fourth power. All right, minus a times b. Well, this is a times b. So we'll call it two my squared times x. And plus b squared will be this squared. So there you go. And that's how you do it. And if you want, if you're crazy enough to try to go out and uh, multiply this all by, by its, you know, itself, you'd see that this was correct and it would cancel out, okay? Let's try one more. This is, again, uh, an, you have to visualize this as an A cubed plus a B cubed, okay? 
So your question is, what's the A going to be and what's the B going to be? Well, you know, what cubed gives you A to the 12th power? In other words, what times itself three times gives you A to the 12th power? And the answer is A to the 4th power. And this, of course, will be the same thing, b to the fourth power. So this is what you're looking at for your a and b in this part over here. Okay. So we have a plus b. That's just going to be a to the fourth plus b to the fourth. a squared will be a to the fourth times a to the fourth, right? a to the fourth with squared on the outside. That'll give you a to the eighth. Minus a times b will be a to the fourth, b to the fourth, plus b squared will be b to the fourth times b to the fourth is b to the Eighth. And there you go. That's how you do the sum, sum of difference of two cubes. So, all right, pause it and try the practice problem, and then we'll come back. All right, we're going to visualize this as an a cubed minus a b cubed. So we have to ask ourselves, what is a and what is b? Well, first off, what cubed gives you 64? And the answer to that is 4. What cubed, in other words, times itself three times, gives you p to the sixth? And the answer is p squared. Now, what times itself three times gives you a to the ninth? And that's a to the third. So that's what our a is. All right? B, again, that's going to be x there. What times itself three times gives you y to the twelfth? The answer is y to the fourth. Okay. So let's factor this. Which one is this? Look back. Okay? That's going to be, oh, if it's a plus, it factors like that. But look, a plus factors like that. A minus factors where you're going to have a minus b and then a squared plus ab plus b squared, okay? So our factoring is going to be a minus b and then a squared plus ab plus b squared, okay? Just go back. You see how that matches? a squared plus ab plus b squared, okay? All right, let's figure out what a is. We'll put it down here to make it easier to see. a is that. 4p squared a to the third minus b, which is xy to the fourth. Okay, good. All right, a squared will be this thing right there squared. 4 squared is that. p squared squared is that. a to the third squared is a to the sixth, right? So we got that. All right, plus a times b. Well, let's just multiply a, which is 4p squared a to the third times xy to the fourth. The last thing will just be b squared. So xy to the fourth times xy to the fourth. Well, x times x is x squared. y to the fourth times y to the fourth, y to the eighth. And there we go. And that's it. Okay. So just refer back to that all you want to for, you know, the rest of the year if you need to. All right. See you guys next time.